Hello friends, I wanted to tell you a little bit about the uh, history of our team here at uh, Revive Israel. Well, after many years of uh, our serving different ministries in different congregations around the world and Tikkun with Dan Jester and Maoz with Ari Sokoram and Nativia with uh, Joseph Shulam and the Messianic Jewish Alliance of Israel, first with Alan Zamir and, and afterwards with Hanan Lukatz, we finally felt it was time for us to start our own team. This is after many, many uh, years in ministry. This brought us up to the year uh, 2004. We decided to start it. We had uh, the idea of looking first at Yeshua and his team of 12, or maybe Paul and the, the group of people that were surrounding him. I had this thought that when I look at the gospel, it seemed that most of the action happened in uh, Yeshua and his 12, and, in, and later on in the book of Acts and, and uh, the epistles and so on. A lot of the action came out of Paul and his team. So we started this team, and I had the idea of pulling a group of approximately 12 uh, young Israelis disciples, potential leaders together, and uh, we did that. It worked uh, very well. We, we came together. Uh, Yuval was there right at the beginning. Shani was at the beginning. And we had a, a nice solid group around, uh, around that size. And uh, we said, well, listen, let's, let's just begin to pray together. Let's see what we can do together as a team. And it was uh, very exciting, um, but because we believed in the importance of having a um, the presence of the Holy Spirit in prayer. We started out each day with a little bit of praise, prayer, hearing from the Lord prophetically, and, and, and my teaching and others sharing him with us so we could equip one another. And, and out of that, we would let God give us projects and things to start. So it was a, that was the way we started. A group of people in covenantal relationships, learning the scriptures together, being trained in leadership, and having a time what we called PPP, praise, prayer, and prophecy. And out of that would come the different ministries that we did. And uh, that became the base of everything that we've done since then, and we still pretty much do that. After about a year or so, uh, we felt in one of our prayer times that the Lord was speaking to our hearts to adapt, adopt, take into our hearts the Acts 1-8 vision, which is uh, you will be, you receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you'll be witnesses of me in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, to the ends of the world, to, that we were to adopt that into our hearts, take possession of it, and uh, let the Lord lead us. Well, it seemed too big for us, but we said yes to the Lord and prayed for another year about how to do that. And um, when we, we got the idea of looking at the pattern of Isaiah 2, that people would come up and visit us, so we need to receive visitors. Uh, we would teach them and the teaching would go out on media internationally. And then we would send people on short-term uh, missions and journeys, emissary journeys around the world. And we started and we did that and it all actually worked out very successfully. It grew so that our teachings began, our written teachings were being translated into up to now, I think, 15 different language groups around the world. And so the, the vision just started to go in uh, very well and be developed and grow. And the Lord's hand was obviously upon it. As we continue to pray, I remember it was kind of funny, it was maybe two years after that, and uh, it felt something kind of funny. The Lord said to me, well, you have the Acts 1 vision. What comes after Acts 1? comes Acts 2. And I took that to understand that uh, it meant that we had to have a, a congregation in Jerusalem. And uh, Eddie Santoro was ready to work with us then. And uh, we had the vision of starting not only the Revive team here in, in the Judean Hills, just outside of Jerusalem, but starting the uh, a local congregation Ahavat Yeshua, the love of Yeshua in downtown Jerusalem. Eddie came in, began to pastor that. We set up the foundations of it. Then we began to work together, the local congregation Jerusalem on an Acts 2 vision and our five-fold ministry apostolic team based on Acts 1 here. So they both began to grow together over the next two years about after that. And everything was uh, blessed and and. Uh, going very well. Then Ari and Shira Sokoram turned to us and said that for the many years that we had worked together with them in Tel Aviv, 
uh, building the congregation to fair Yeshua, that they were getting to the point where they wanted to uh, turn that over and begin to release that and ask us if we would uh, take leadership and oversight of that. So we then adopted that as kind of a, a next stage and uh, embraced uh, Tifer Yeshua congregation. And then uh, Ron Cantor joined us with that and became the congregational leader there. And then after that, we raised up um, uh, Gil Afriat, who's the current uh, pastor in the congregation in Tel Aviv. So we had the, our team here at Yad Shmona in the kibbutz here and the congregation in Jerusalem and the congregation in Tel Aviv. Uh, then the base here at, uh, at Yad Shmona became, this is the kibbutz that we're in here, the only messianic kibbutz in, in the world. And it became very important because they did a new building stage and part of our team, including me, including Yuval, including Shani, many of our original members, we became members of, of the kibbutz here and had places to live. So it really strengthened our base so that we, what we were originally just a team, it now became not just a team, but a team with a base, administrative base, a place to receive guests, uh, a place to build more of a media center, including the studio that I'm in here now. With that all, it's had tremendous effect and blessing and fruit in blessing many ministries financially. As I said, local evangelism. We started the uh, help to start the uh, television station Yeshua Chai to do internet evangelism in Hebrew. And of course, we had the Netanel Outreach Center in, uh, in Karim and just so many different projects. And this is what we, we had hoped for, that once you establish a, a five-fold ministry team that can reproduce itself, the number of projects and congregations become almost unlimited. We embrace the, uh, the Bet Yeshua congregation and the Rehabilitation Center and just many matters. And it's grown and grown and grown. And thank God we're so just, we need to say thank you, Lord, that the, the history of this has grown and been blessed and both locally just said Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria to the ends of the world. And we want to have a full uh, three-dimensional ministry of, of prayer and praise and prophecy, local evangelism, training up young leaders, planting and strengthening congregations and having a world missions and a world media mission coming all out of this base and this team. And um, it's been just super blessed and we're thankful to the Lord and that's been able to happen. And when you come to be part of us here, you can be able to see that all those different things happen. It's kind of a beehive here of things going out. The last stage is that embracing the cooperation with our friends at Tikkun, which included the Ohale Ministries, Tents of Mercies in the northern part of Israel, what was Tikkun in the United States, the ministries with Ann Juster, and with uh, Paul Wilbur and Michael Brown and, and all of the different friends that we've developed. And now we're looking to move into more of a an international global family. So you can see what we do here. We are a medium-sized group, but what the Lord has blessed it with is a lot of different things. And we're happy for you to come and join us and be partners with us and visit with us and experience the presence of the Holy Spirit, but also the uh, a, a vision to go out and advance Yeshua's kingdom. Because that's our vision from the very beginning was to be a local Israeli apostolic ministry team to advance Yeshua's kingdom on the earth. So we're looking forward to have you join together with us.